Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. We just need to hold on. This too shall pass. I promise. Well, today we are going to learn how you can apply filters, adjustments or carry out a function by just pressing a sequence of keys without even having to assign a shortcut. And here's how it goes. So let's say we wanted to convert the subject layer to a smart object. Now we know there are a couple ways of doing it, which is right clicking on it and choosing convert to smart object or going to filter and then choosing convert for smart filters. Now, if you want a shortcut for it, well, you can assign a shortcut by going to edit and then, you know, keyboard shortcuts and then finding out a shortcut that is not already taken and then apply a shortcut. Instead of doing that, you should know that the function to convert a layer to a smart object is inside layer and then smart objects convert to smart object. Only if we had a shortcut to get to that. Yes, we do. All you have to do is to hold the Alt key or the Option key. Once you hold that, I want you to take a look at the screen. I'm asking you, what changed? I'm going to do that again for you. So this layer is selected and I press and hold the Alt key or the Option key. I'm asking you, what changed? Have a look at the top. See these underline? Underlines beneath these alphabets? Have a look. Where it is written file, the underline is under F. For edit, it's under E. Now keep in mind for filter, it is under T. So once you hold the Alt key, if you want to open layer, you would have to press L. This will open up layer. Let me click outside. If you hold the Alt key and if you press F, the filter will not open. It will open file. Why? Because the underline is beneath F. All right. So if I press F, file will open. If I hold the Alt key and then I press T because the underline is under T inside of filter, filter will open. All right. Now the next step. First, it was going to layer and then it was smart object and then convert to smart object, right? So with the subject layer selected, if I press Alt L, all right, smart objects does not have an underline. See, this word does not have an underline. Although layer mask has M with an underline, vector mask has V with an underline. However, there's nothing with smart object, but inside of it, convert to smart object has S, all right? So here's what we do. Once we hold the Alt key, we press L to open up layers. Smart objects start with S. So then we press S and convert to smart object has S underlined. So we press S again and it automatically converts to a smart object. So to do it fast, you have to hold Alt, L, S, S, right? You can do it really fast. Alt, L, S, S, all right? If you're really fast, done so fast all right there are lots of other things you can do for example this way you don't have to keep track of shortcuts or find shortcuts that you do not use or find a brand new shortcut to assign to it therefore key sequences are super useful to do things quickly now once you have converted it into a smart object by pressing alt l s s let's say i want to apply highlights shadows filter if you go to image adjustments have a look. Shadows and highlights do not have a shortcut. Well, of course, you can find a new shortcut for it by finding what shortcut is not at use or what key combination is not at use and apply it. Instead of doing that, we can use the same technique. Hold the Alt key. I is for the image. Why? Because the I is underlined right there. You press I right there. Adjustments has A underlined. So I press A and shadows and highlights have W underlined. So then we press W. Have a look. Shadows and highlights show up. Now you can open up more options by checking show more options and control all of these settings from here and play with it. So let's say I like this one. I'm going to hit OK. Now let me show you one more example. One of the other common effects that we apply is drop shadow, right? So let's say we type some text at the top. So let's type in some text change the color to white so that we can see the shadow and I'm going to make the text a little larger and we will add some drop shadow to it. So we can do that by right clicking on it and then going to blending options and then checking drop shadow and then playing with it. 
or you can use these key sequences by holding the alt key l for layer and then layer style layer style has y underlined so we can press y now drop shadow has d underlined so we press d now so it automatically opens up the layer style dialog box with drop shadow already checked for you now let me give you a pro tip the way professionals work with drop shadow is not by using these angle handles or distance sliders we just simply move it in the image isn't that crazy now that's besides the point once you apply that you hit ok see how simple that was let us go back and do that again alt l y d simple right so remember that alt l y d see how fast that was so there you go my friends key sequencing just remember when you hold the alt key what alphabet is underlined that's it i hope this video helped you sending you lots of love happiness and the best wishes stay safe guys and don't forget to keep creating life is for living let's see where the soul might lead let's see where the soul might lead